Wow, that was one hell of a game last night. The Phillies win 11-1 to against the Chicago Cubs and absolutely just destroy them. And uh, they win the series. And that was a fantastic baseball game. 11 runs scored. Uh, Bryce Harper, two home runs. JT Romuto with a grand slam. And today I am joined by Joe, and uh, we're going to welcome him back to the video cast. It's been a little while, Joe. Yep, been a little bit, but what a night last night. Come out swinging the bats, totally lit up Cole Hamels, and glad to be back with you. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I had had a guest on in a while, especially with that, that West Coast trip. That was a mess. Uh, that's why I usually don't like, you know, West Coast games. I don't think any of us do over here on the East Coast. So, uh, yeah, so Joe's back now, and I'm going to be having two guests on, on Sunday as well. So, uh, really happy about that. So, anyway, let's talk about this game. Uh, Cole Allen was on the mound for the Cubs, and he was absolutely dis- – he just totally got lit up by the Phillies and uh, Bryce Harper in 2012 actually was hit by Cole Hamels. Hamels hit him on purpose. And, uh, and then he ended up stealing home against Cole Hamels. That was way back in, in his rookie year, 2012. And then Bryce Harper finally hit his, he has not done well against Cole Hamels in his career. Finally hit his first career home run off of him. And I just kind of find it ironic that, that Bryce Harper did it in a Phillies uniform that Cole Hamels used to wear. So it's kind of find that, uh, that pretty funny. Joe, what did you think about that Cole Hamels, Bryce Harper situation? You know, I was very happy because I didn't like Cole Hamels um, when he was on the Phillies. I, I don't know why, I guess. I was little, so, like, I don't know. I just mm-hmm. didn't like him. I didn't like the way he played. And he was good, but like, I didn't like him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm happy. And, you yeah. know, Harper did in pretty good fashion. He did. He did. And uh, Hamels uh, went two innings last night, nine hits, eight earned runs, two walks, and two strikeouts. And wow, he really got rocked, um, and uh, that makes him six and four in the year, the three point six nine ERA. So he really got rocked. He also got a DL earlier this year when we played him in Chicago. He did not pitch well there either. So he has not had our number uh, in his in his short career against us. Yep. So let's look at the scoring summary. Bryce Harper in the bottom of the first inning hits a two run shot. Uh, it's twenty third at that time. It was his twenty third of the year. RBI number 82, and the Phillies take a 2 nothing lead. Reese Hoskins left the game with a single, and uh, Harper Jack went out. Now, JT, it could have been a three-round shot, but Chris Bryant made a very nice play to rob JT of a hit. And then bottom the second, Aaron Nola doing himself some uh, – did his uh, – helping himself out with a uh, two-RBI single to make it 3 nothing Phillies. Adam Hazley struck out, and Aaron Nola said, you know what, boys, I'm going to pick you up. And uh, he got a nice two-run single to the left. Then Reese Hoskins hit it was. Reese Hoskins hit a sacrifice fly. Cesar Hernandez came around the score, and it was four nothing Phillies. And then Cesar singled to uh, shallow center. Kingery and Quinn, uh, Kingery scored, and Quinn went to second. It's now five nothing Phillies. Then Adam Hazley reached on a. I don't know what what the hell happened here. The ball hit the first base, and Coimbles was not covering first. Anthony Rizzo was way far away from the bag towards the second base side. And Columbus did not cover first, as he should have, and uh, cost him a run and a hit. So it's now 6 nothing, And then uh, they uh, took Columbus out of the game. And then JT Remuto hit a grand slam. And uh, that was uh, quite a uh, shot that JT hit down the left field line. That was his 17th home run of the year. And it's now 10 nothing Phillies. Then in the bottom of the sixth inning, Bryce Harper hit his second home run of the game, 24th of the season, 418 feet into the upper deck, close to where he hit his first career home run, uh, career home run with the Phillies. And it's 11 nothing Phillies. And then uh, top of the seventh inning, Chris Bryant, who uh, is one of my favorite players in the game, hit a home run in the center. So I'm not too happy. I'm not too. Uh, I'm not too mad about that um, because the home run meant nothing, and I really like Chris Bryant. So both Chris Bryant and Bryce Harper both. But had home runs last night, uh, so that was pretty cool to see. As we look at the box score, so Rice, Reese Hoskins one for three with two runs scored on the RBI. Sean Rodriguez 0 for one. JT Remuto two for four with a run scored, four RBIs. Obviously, since the green scam. Uh, Bryce Harper three for three, two runs scored, three RBIs and a walk. Brad Miller went 0 for one with the strikeout. Gene Segura went one for five with two strikeouts. Scott Kingery went one for four with the run scored. Roman Quinn went one for three with two runs scored and a walk. 
Cesar Hernandez, two for three with a run scored, one, R, uh, one uh, obviously the RBI from the RBI single, one walk, one strikeout. Adam Hazley went one for four, one RBI, one run scored, two strikeouts. Aaron Nola went one for two um, with that uh, RBI single and uh, had also walked. Logan Morrison pinch hit and he flew out. Uh, and let's look at the pitching in this one. Aaron Nola, you're player of the game, uh, but uh, we're going to talk about who we thought should have been player of the game. Joe, do you agree that Aaron Noah should have been player of the game? He pitched it, Jim. He did. But I would like to see Harper get sure. player of the game. Sure. No, he went sure. three, three with two home runs. Uh, do you think he's our Phillies hot still player of the game? Would you consider him to be the Phillies hot still player of the game? Or do you... I'd say either him or JT. Yeah. Just J- JT threw out Baez, and uh, I think it first or oh, second yeah. inning. Best catcher in baseball. Second. That was a great throw. Mm-hmm. And he had a grand swim. Yeah. He went uh, two for four, you said? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, he went four. uh he went two for four yes, yesterday. That was correct. Um, yep. Aaron, Aaron Nolan so, went seven uh, innings. What were you going to say? You know, that's, that's a good day as a it catcher. Is. Very good. He's the best catcher in baseball. Aaron, and he's By the – yeah, he's one of I think two Phillies to hit two grand slams in the sing- in the uh, season. Aaron, Aaron Nola, seven innings, three hits, one earned run, one walk, seven strikeouts, and one home run given up. That was the home run to Chris Bryant. Nick Pavetta, an inning, two strikeouts. Juan Nicasio, an inning, one hit and one strikeout. So the Phillies win eleven to one against the Chicago Cubs, and they win this series as they don't have to worry about uh, a rubber game today. All they have to do is now it's a salvage game for the Cubs. I and mean, if, if you're sitting here, that's the Phillies. You're going to be thinking, now we're going to get the brooms out today and try to sweep out the uh, the Cubs. So um, I I'll give my thoughts on this game, and Joe will give his. So uh, here's my thoughts. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. I don't know if you guys watched this game. If you guys didn't watch this game, I'm going to explain it to you. In past games, obviously, even we've been notorious for taking too many pitches that are really good pitches to hit, and uh, we've been wasting opportunities, not hitting returns in scoring position, leaving too many guys on. And I understand this is only one game, but guys, this was one of the best games I think I've seen all year. Uh, we were swinging at first pitches. We were getting, we were swinging ahead of the count. Like we were, we weren't, you know, a lot of these hits were not like three, two. Yeah, we, we were swinging like first pitch. Like, this is the aggressive approach of Charlie Manuel. And John Maley's approach was just not – well, it wasn't good. It didn't fit in with this lineup. Maybe it will fit in somewhere else. And that's a, in my opinion, I think it's a very extremely analytical approach. And I think Charlie Manuel has already made a big impact on this team. I was talking yesterday about Bryce and about how um, I don't think that uh, hitting coaches really have that much impact on him because he's gone through so many coaches when he was with the, with Washington. Uh, so I didn't, I wasn't really sure if that was going to have that much of an impact, but he hit two home runs last night. And I understand it's only one game, but I tell you, I noticed something different with Harper too. So uh, I really, really liked, uh, Charlie Manuel last night. I mean, if the fans were even cheering for him, um, so I think he did a very, very, very nice job here and uh, 11 runs on the board. I mean, when's the last time we've even done that? I mean, it just feels forever ago. And, uh, we were just, as I said, being aggressive in the count, and that's the approach to win your ball games. Not sitting there and taking tra- like walk. I feel like our hitters go up there and listen. Walks are not bad, but they look go up there trying to walk. Like that's that's you should go up there try to get a hit. You shouldn't be going on up there trying to get a walk. And uh, I think Charlie Manuel, I think is a very good voice on this team, and I'm really really happy that we have him. So now I'm going to turn it over to Joe. Is he's going to explain his thoughts about last night's game with Charlie Manuel? Joe, take it away. Yeah, I I 100 agree with everything you said. Um, I feel like, you know, like they're saying in the, um, the pregame, try the manual, his approach is if you see the first pitch, you like it, you swing at it, you know, don't mm-hmm. take pitches, don't look to walk, right. just go out and attack the pitcher. Um, you know, that's what everyone did and that's how we scored all the runs. And I feel like he has a huge impact. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, if he was, if he was, if he was 60, we should hire him as manager but he's 75 so it's not gonna happen <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. I, I wish it could but no he's a great person to have especially for the end of this year maybe wake us up uh-huh. for next year exactly. and um yeah I'm, I'm happy that we fired um Maley, but what did, what did you think of john Maley? i'm assuming you don't I, like him i i didn't like him because he i feel like the reason that like uh harper and Hoskins and Ramita for a little while and Segura in the beginning of the season were struggling because he was looking 
there he's telling them to look for walks you know mm-hmm. and we weren't scoring those runs like we did yesterday but you know this could just be one day one day where we score 11 runs and we can go back to our normal selves tomorrow today um i hope i hope we don't go back to our normal self. i hope we don't go back to our normal self uh yeah, I mean, as I said, this is only a one-game thing, and you know, some people are out there saying that you know this is the same thing as the bamboo thing. Remember a bamboo from a couple of months ago? I th- I totally disagree with that. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, the bamboo that was a like a stupid little like a you know superstition type of thing. Uh, that I mean, that come on. I mean, like you know, obviously it's just kind of funny. I mean, this is a real life thing. This is a coach. This is a real person yeah. having an impact on this team. I mean, that little it's a little plan. I mean, that was just like that was just funny. That wasn't that was a joke. Yeah. This is not a joke. Like this is an no, actual I, person. I agree with you there. This yeah. is huge. Like you, you can't, he knows so much. Yeah, you can't compare Charlie Manuel to a plant. I mean, that's really <laughs> stupid. I mean, seriously. <laughs> it sounds so stupid. I know. I, I, I'm not going to say I heard someone on the internet say it, and I know him. He's a really good guy, but I, I don't want to call him out here. Um, I guess he might be watching, and I don't want to make him seem bad, but we'll talk about it off air. But, <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I don't want to throw him under the bus, but I, I kind of disagree with him. So, uh yeah, um, I I don't think that comparing him to a plant. I mean, the, it's a plant. Like it's it gets like, it, it was a superstition. Stupid. It was a superstition. Like I I yeah I don't know. I I don't I don't, I didn't agree with it. So uh, I did def- Michael Franco start the band Brad Miller did. Brad Miller did. Oh, yeah. Brad Miller. Uh-huh. Yeah, guys. So we were really really happy about this uh, this game here. Uh, we really really liked. Uh, our, our aggressive approach. If only Aaron Ola could pitch every day for for the Phillies. And uh, let's talk about – let's actually talk about – I talked about it yesterday. I want to get Joe's opinion. Jake Arrieta's uh, seizing ending injury. Joe, you want to – I already talked about it. So if you want to go hear my thoughts, go click on the last video. Uh, Joe, what are your thoughts on uh, Jake Arrieta's uh, season ending injury? My thoughts are, um, you know, I we need pitching. But also, I'm happy because when you're pitching with a hurt arm, that's no good. Mm-hmm. And it only makes you worse. And he's old and doesn't have the same stuff he used to have. So, like, we can't pick anyone up now. But no. also, I feel like maybe maybe Vinny Velo can step up. Hopefully. Now he has, a, now he has an ideal spot in rotation. He does. And mm-hmm. I, I maybe Pavetta will get brought up. he be put in the rotation. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, I don't it's know. kind of a nightmare. Like, in that rotation. It is. It is. Yeah. Noah is carrying the whole. Oh, ah, no question. If we didn't have Noah, I don't know. Like, I, I can't believe we would probably have the worst starting rotation in baseball. Honestly. Oh, we would by far. Yeah. So. Without a doubt. Yeah, and, and this is what Matt Clentac did in the off season. I'm going to, y'all. Oh, was here, ears open here, y'all. Matt Clentac was content with keeping Aaron Noel. Well, obviously Aaron Noel. He was. I mean. He's a great player, of course. But he was content with Zach Eflin, Nick Pavetta, and Vin Velasquez. I mean, that's just too much of a risk to take. I mean, Zach Eflin hasn't proven – he has potential. Potential only goes so far. Hasn't proven They're himself. really young. Nick Pavetta has – That's what he doesn't know. Yeah. He doesn't think about that. Yeah, hasn't proven himself. Vin Velasquez hasn't proven himself. So, I mean, maybe contact him and he's sitting there thinking, well, I think this is what he envisioned. He knew that Aaron Nola would be having a good year. He thought Jake Arrieta, maybe he'll bounce back and have a decent season. And then he said, okay, Zach F1, Nick Pavetta. I think Nick Pavetta is going to be good. And then I think he said, you know, maybe Vin Velasquez and Zach F1 could have a decent year. If that's how the year would have went, if we could have had a – obviously we're already having a – you know, Aaron Ola kind of struggled in the beginning. But, you know, if you have him have, having an Aaron Ola type season, and then you have Jake Arrieta kind of just having a mediocre season, he'll give you a Jake Arrieta type year. And then you have Zach F1 having a decent season and Nick Pavetta having a breakout season. And Vin Vlas is having a pretty okay season. I don't think we're going to have in this conversation right now. It just didn't work out the way contact wanted it to work out. But that's just, they're rolling, the, we're really rolling the dice when you when you make a risky decision like that. And uh, definitely come not back to bite that, the Phillies. Not only that, he got two bullpen pitchers, two Dave yeah. Robertson. And he's hurt. Juan Castillo in the trade. And That's and, all he got. and Jose Alvarez. But he Jose Alvarez and has Jose been Alvarez. good. He's Alvarez wrong. has been good. I will say that. You think you think he's good? Yeah. He's like we a, got him from LA, right? Luis Garcia, yeah, we swapped him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well he's like a two point like eight five ERA, I think. He's he's yeah, he's I been a workhorse out of the pen this year. Yeah. 
yeah, I, I, I'm kind of a Jose Alvarez guy. I don't know why. Um, I wasn't a fan of him at first, but I tell you what, he's clearly stepped up on this team, and I really, really like the impact that he's had so far. So uh, in that bullpen. So uh, one more note we want to uh, touch on here uh, as the Phillies go for the sweep today. Joe, do you see a sweep coming today? Or do you think we're just gonna not do anything? I see. I do see a sweep. I see Drew Smiley coming out and having a good game. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Um, I, de- I definitely think that is uh, very possible that could happen, uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so uh, seven of five, the first pitch tonight. Uh, uh, you Darvish four and six with a four point four three ERA. Obviously, you Darvish is has his massive contract. He's not living up to it. Uh, we think the Jake Arrieta contract is bad. Oh my! You should look at you Darvish. That's really bad. Drew Smiley yeah, two twenty times worse. Yeah, it is. Uh, Drew Smiley two and six at the six point nine six ERA. Kind of struggled his last start, but he has two wins in a Phillies uniform. Then as San Diego, it's already in town, uh, but uh, we place them tomorrow night. So we're going to get ready for that game. I am going to the game on Sunday, uh, so uh, that's going to be uh, very interesting. To see uh, Machado and everyone else uh, on the Padres, you know, that's why, you know, I wanted to kind of go to the Padres game to see Machado and just boo him out of the stadium uh, because uh, I'm not a Machado guy. <laughs> I, that's, I All off season, I was pro Harper. I did not want Machado at all. I think Machado is kind of just a kind of just an arrogant, uh, cocky player, and I don't really think he would fit in here. So. So I'm definitely going to go to the game and boo that guy for sure. So I'm really looking forward to that. So 7-5 to five, the first pitch tonight. Uh, I'll give my thoughts on this game. I don't know if we're going to go out and – obviously we're not going to go out and score 11 runs like we did yesterday. I do think we're going to win this game. Uh, you Darvish has been just kind of this mediocre this year, and I think we're going to line him up really well. And uh, once again, I apologize for uh, no video last night. I fell asleep uh, when I was about to make the video. And uh, this morning, uh, Joe was unable to come on. Um, so, uh, and this is the only time, you know, this, he, he came on as soon as possible. You know, he was very good about it. You know, he, he really wanted to come on. So, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, he, he, he could have just said, you know, let's go do it at five, but no, Joe decided to, you know, step it up and, you know, he wanted to come on as soon as possible. So Joe, I really appreciate thanks, that. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, no all right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 705, the first pitch, Smiley versus Darvish. Social media link in the description below. Go give it a follow. Please like this video if you haven't yet. Please subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please tell your friends about these videos. Please turn on the notification bell as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Luke, and uh, Joe, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, guys. See you.